I need to retrieve the hard sun file. I already told him a hundred times. Elaine, Renko, took it. Took it where? This was a really hard one to shoot because basically she's threatening Hicks's family. She is putting him in a situation where he thinks he'll lose everything if he doesn't give her the information that she needs. It was difficult because for my character, I have to basically push him and push him and push him until he breaks. That was quite hard to see because Jim goes to quite an extreme point emotionally in that scene. Do it! We keep your son out of prison, you bring us Charlie Hicks. We find out that Renko has actually been employed to investigate Charlie Hicks and it's basically a carrot on a stick kind of scenario that I'm forced into this position which kind of causes this friction between the two of us. So episode two sees the release of the Heart Sun dossier to the media and its subsequent disavowal by the British government is portrayed as a hoax. People think it's a conspiracy theory and then other people think it's like absolutely true and so they can either like swing the pendulum of morals and ethics going to the good and the swing to the bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna help make them sleep. Oh no, don't say that no please, please don't say that, don't, don't say that, don't. When they're in the forest in episode two, that's when they really start to work as a team. But that's the first time you see them sort of in unison, you know, united and, and working towards the same goal. You've got a visitor. So episode two ends with um, Grace visiting young Daniel in hospital. And this woman who's being incredibly nice to him, but there's also something incredibly sinister about her. And I think he can see that straight away. Such a pleasure to meet you. We don't know what she's about to do, but we do know that she is used to turning people against their family and friends in order to get the information she wants. Taking him into that next level of driving him a little bit towards the edge.